hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am here with a yummers delight haul um she was having a dollar cent shot sale and this was from um september 27th uh i know it is what's today what's today october 10th um so i'm a little bit behind at filming this um I'll probably upload it today too on the 10th um but yeah I'm filming this today on the 10th so I apologize that it's late but uh yeah I had some my health hasn't been good recently I mean is it ever good no but it got worse so I haven't been doing the greatest so that's why I'm kind of low energy but um I figured might as well you know, it's been sitting here, so, um, I did smell this already when I got it, but I just didn't have the energy to film it. Um, I did get this on the 4th of October, ordered it on the 27th of September, got it on the 4th of October, and now I'm filming it today on the 10th, like I said, in between, I just I wasn't doing great, so, yeah, um, so yeah, I smelled everything, but in this order, everything is new to her site. So all these scents are new scents to her website. And oh, my cat's here. Hello. Hello, Bean. <laughs> Goodbye here, I'm purring if, <laughs> if the camera picks it up. But yeah, so here is the invoice. It says, thanks for stopping by, friends. So like I said... Dollar stun shot sale. I did have coupon code for free shipping. So this was about $24 with I think 22 cent shots and then tax came to like 24 or 23 and some change. So I could afford that doing like, you know, little hauls and stuff. I could afford a dollar and then I got the free shipping. So I'm very thankful for that for sure. Because you guys know I love this company. She is my favorite vendor. Um, yeah, so here is her business card. Just got the cute little wheat waffles on there. Um, sorry about my nails. I wanted to do them. I just I just didn't have the energy to, so they're just plain. Um, but yeah, here are the bags that the wax came in. So here's the first one. It's got little pumpkins all over it. How cute. Sorry, I'm filming in my office or my wax room. I just call it my office. <laughs> and filming on the floor in here. And then look at this bag. It's got little candy corns all over it. I love it. It matches my mug. Then I have coffee in. It just says got candy on in the mug. There's a little bit of coffee left. Not too much. It's like way down at the bottom almost empty um yeah i love candy corn print so stinking cute so yeah she just finished my coffee now okay that is gone <laughs> um so let's get into the little sample here this is pumpkin chai tea and I love the picture of like it's almost like a vintage pumpkin girl love love that and I was worried about this one I'm like oh no it's chai it's gonna be really spicy but it's not sorry there's cat hair on it because I have a cat it's not spicy it's got a little spice but it's really pretty if this was, see, this is why I like samples, because I would never have, I don't think I would, I mean, I probably would have ordered it, <laughs> but, like, I just order one, you know, one scent shot. I would actually get two of this, because it's nice, it's not really spicy, it's, you get the coffee, like, not coffee, but, like, that tea scent to it, it's pretty. Something I wouldn't have ordered, probably, but yeah, that definitely changed my mind. That's why I really like samples. And then next is pumpkin, 
pecan waffle popcorn and this is new as well it smells amazing i love pumpkin pecan waffles and i love her buttered pop excuse me her buttered popcorn um it is so good and the combination is amazing it's like caramely mapley goodness and then super buttery from the popcorn note yeah i haven't seen this on her site but if she puts it you know available to order um i would definitely get more of that for sure all right now let's get into the order um yeah, I have everything labeled and have all the scent descriptions. So the first one up is Evil Stepsister. And this one is Orange Cream Cupcake in Vanilla Cone. Yeah, this is so good. It's like a super creamy orange bakery. Sorry, there's a loud car going by. Man. Or a truck, I don't know, something loud. Oh, that is so good. Um, yeah, it's like a super creamy orange cupcake scent. Yummy scents, all the things. I don't say her name, um, just her channel name. Definitely go follow her. Um, you would really like this one. I know she likes orangey scents, so definitely keep an eye out for this one so good yeah let me just stick them there next we have is cookie crumbs i love the label um this one is sugar cookie dough and sweet and creamy milk she one she has one that's called milk and cookies and that one's like um sugar cookies and roasted marshmallows or something and that one's really good. So this one's just like your regular kind of marshmallowy, milky scent. And that's what it is. It's like a super sweet sugar cookie. And then you get a little bit of that sugar milk scent. It's nice. I love the label. So cute. Alright, next is powder puffs. And I love the little kind of powdered donuts. And this one is powdered donuts and pink frosting. Yeah. I'm wondering if that pink, her pink frosting has a strawberry to it because I smell like a touch of like a super sweet strawberry and it smells incredible. In powdered donuts, it's not really a strong scent, but this one I would say it's bakery with a light hint of strawberry because of the frosting. In my opinion, it smells like a super sweet strawberry. All right, next is Little Red Riding Hood. And this one is Cool Ozone, Fiery Cinnamon, Clove, Poppy, Smoke, and Vetiver Wood. So I was worried about this one because of the cinnamon, but yeah, it's not, it's not spicy at all. It smells like, like it says, Cool Ozone. It's got that like kind of fresh outdoors kind of scent to it. It's got a little bit of smokiness. Like I said, I don't smell cinnamon or clove, maybe like a touch but you get the woodiness, the smoke. It's more heavy, like, like it says, cool ozone. And it's so weird, but it's it definitely gives off that ozone scent. Um, all right, next is the cutest picture ever. The little cat in the box. So stinking cute. So this one is cereal box, which is lemon curd, Fruit Loops and Toasted Marshmallows. So cute. Yeah. The cereal and the Toasted Marshmallow is definitely on top. And then on bottom, you get that super strong, ooh, man, very strong lemon curd scent. It almost smells a little on the cleaner lemon side, which I'm not the biggest fan of that. 
I mean, it still smells good, but it leans a little cleaner lemon because it's so tart. So if you don't like very tart lemon, you would not like this scent. But I, I like it, so. Um, yeah, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not picky with scents at all. Um, this one is Potion Number Nine. Um, with sweet, spicy vanilla, butter, rich spices, and a dash of sugar. So, ooh, yeah, this one is very. It's been a while since I've smelled these. I sm smelled them on the fourth. Like I said, today's the seventh. Or. 10th. So it's been like almost a week. So re-smelling them, they definitely got have gotten stronger in my opinion and smell a little different. Yeah, it's like a super buttery vanilla scent with little dash of spice. Like exactly. It says dash dash of sugar and rich spices. It's not spicy or anything. King wax all over me. All right, next is Witch's Brulee. Let me hold. And this one is Pumpkin Brulee Donuts over Gourmet Sugar Cookies. And it's got a little bit of black and like purple glitter on there. So pretty. Yeah, it's like creme brulee. Almost like slightly pumpkin-y creme brulee and sugar cookies. It's nice. It's like very rich bakery. All right, next is... It's supposed to be that basic witch. Uh, it, that's what it is on our site, but the label is different. So if you want to look up this scent, that's what it's called is that basic witch. And this is lavender cupcakes and gourmet sugar cookies. And I love um, any type of lavender plus bakery is amazing. It's one of my favorite things. In this one, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really get the lavender in this. It's It almost smells like... <sighs> It almost smells like it has a little bit of a tree note to it. Yeah, I don't get lavender. It's it's weird. Maybe this one was poured wrong or something, but I'm not sure. Or maybe it's like an herbal lavender that kind of mixed with the sugar cookies that kind of gives off that vibe, but I'm not... I don't know. It's still good. It smells really good, but I'll have to order another one of that in the future and see if that's how it's supposed to smell or either way. Um, the Neapolitan Sandwich. Um, this one is sweet strawberry, vanilla cone, and chocolate cake. And look how cute. It's like the Neapolitan colors. Ooh. Okay, this one smells different than how I previously smelled it. In the pe like when I smelled it on the fourth, I didn't really get much of the chocolate. But now when I open it, it smells like Neapolitan. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <sighs> I love her strawberry. This smells like her strawberry cupcake oil. I wonder if I could find it in my collection. And kind of compare. Oh. I don't know. Let me smell her strawberry Swiss roll. And then compare it with this strawberry. No, the strawberry is a little different. Mm. I don't know. I don't want to go through this container. 
<laughs> but anyway, this scent is so good. The chocolate's not the strongest. It's still a little on the lighter side, but mm, it's so, so good. All right, next is Galaxy Dust. So this one is grape, peach, plum, undertones of citrus, and fluffy towels. This one, I don't know. It, it's pretty. I get the fluffy towels. Um, I definitely get that. But it's fruity, citrusy, laundry. It's different. It's pretty. I'm trying to pop it out here. Yeah, I like it. It's just... Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. I don't really smell much grape. Maybe the peach and the plum. Definitely citrus and definitely fluffy towels. So if you like kind of fruity leaning laundry, I feel like you would like that one. All right, next we have is triple dipped. And this one here is waffle cone, wildberry mousse, cake, and marshmallow. Yeah, this one is really nice. I feel like I'm saying the same thing. But it's like a very... Oh my gosh, this, I'm getting wax all over the place. Wax, little wax pieces everywhere, all over my pants. Okay. This is good because this wild berry... I love her wild berry mousse. It's very, very sweet. So if you like super sweet wild berry mousse scents, you would like this because it's very sweet with the extra marshmallow. Sorry, I'm completely out of it. This video, I'm having a rough time. Okay. Um, Cookies with Frankenstein is the next one. And this is... Molasses cookies, clove, cinnamon, sweet vanilla, and marshmallow peeps. And this one is double layered. Mm. Yeah. You definitely get the molasses cookies on top, at least. Yeah. Because it's very... It smells like Christmas. It's very, like... So you get a slight clove scent, a slight cinnamon, and a little bit of that molasses note. It's, again, it's not spicy. And then on the bottom, you get a very sweet vanilla marshmallow peep fragrance, which will balance that out. Hopefully I post this because this, I feel like this video is just a hot mess. Okay, next is Candy Apple Carousel. And look how stinking cute the label is. I absolutely love that picture. And it is triple layered. So we got blue, green, and pink. And this one is sweet candy apple, birthday cake, and sugar milk. And it's got a little bit of kind of iridescent, shimmery, purple glitter. Leans blue, purple. Yeah, on the bottom, you definitely get that candy apple. On the top, I think the sugar milk. In the middle is the birthday cake because the top you get that kind of sweet sugary milk. Some people pick up sourness. Mm, I don't get sour from this. But the candy apple smells exactly like winter candy apple from Bath and Body Works. Like the exact same. Because um, I've actually been using that perfume or body spray the past like couple weeks because I really like that scent so definitely smells like winter candy apple from Bath and Body Works she also has a scent called I believe it's Dear Diary which has candied apple in it that smells like Bath and Body Works winter candy apple as well so if you like that scent from Bath and Body Works you would love those too um next is Jack Sparrow this is white birch, Madagascar vanilla, and sandalwood. So this has the same scent notes as book weather, 
just without the Java. So it's book weather minus the Java. And I, you guys know book weather is my all time favorite scent from Yummer's Delight. And I knew I had to pick this up. I don't know why I didn't get multiples. I'm kicking myself for not because this is incredible. I need a loaf in this or something. It is beautiful. You get the sandalwood. You get everything. White birch. Oh my gosh. It is so pretty. I need this in like a perfume or a body spray. Maybe I'll ask her if she could put this in a body spray or like a linen mist because I need this. This scent. Mm, it just... <sighs> It's just so pretty. It makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, that is so, so good. Okay, let's get into these. So I got two of this set. Like I said, I should've got two of the Jack Sparrow or three or four or <laughs> kicking myself, but I got two of this one. This is, is it Risen? Risen Up Dracula or Risen. Risen up Dracula or Risen? Because I know Riz is like a term, <laughs> like slang nowadays that people use for like, it, it means like flirting with somebody or something like that. So I'm not sure if it's Risen up Dracula or Risen up Dracula. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> so this is Vampire's Blood Bath and Body Works type. There's a little bit of glitter dust. And yeah, this smells incredible. Let me see if I can pop this one out. Yeah, there we go. Incredible. It smells exactly like it. 100% dupe, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It's like, what is it? Dark plum and berries something. I don't know. I'm using the hand soap of it from Bath and Body Works. And I love this scent, so... All right, let's do this one next. So I did get two of this next one. And this is Boonana Bread. Like, how cute is the name? They're like the little labels. It looks like a, like a blanket. Like a ghosty blanket. So this one is double layered as well. And this is glazed bananas and French toast. And she has a French toast blend called Brunch with Bestie. It was like like Dutch apples or something like that with French toast. And I love that scent. So I needed to get this one. And this is really what it says. You get a little bit of that French toast on the top. And the banana bread is definitely on the bottom. Mm. So, so yummy. All right, let's do this one. Ah! I dropped them. Okay. Let's do this one next. I got two of this as well. This is matinee snacks. And this is popcorn, Mountain Dew, and gummy bears. Here is the coloring. Mm. Yeah, the popcorn and the gummy bears is definitely on the bottom because you get that mixture it's like candy, but buttery. And then on the top, you get the Mountain Dew, which leans like lemon lime fizzy pop, but it's not super fizzy. I like it. It's really nice. And I, like I said, I love her popcorn blends, so and then last but not least, we have It's Tricky Tricky, and I did grab two of these. Here's the label. And this one is Bubblegum, Cotton Candy, and Sugared Strawberry, and this is three layers. So I knew to, I knew I needed two of these because I love her bubblegum oil. And the top definitely smells like maybe... The sugared strawberry. Yeah. 
And then the bottom is definitely her bubble gum, which I love. It smells so realistic. I say this all the time. You guys know I love her bubble gum. It is the best one that I've found so far. It is just so good. I could just sit here and smell this. Yeah, the top is definitely like a sugary. What I say, I don't know if it smells exactly like strawberry. I don't know. But I really like it. Let me smell this one. Yeah. I'm not sure. But so good. Alrighty, guys, that is all for my little Yummer's Delight haul. I hope you, oh my gosh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, I am, rough day, I'm just, mm -mm. um, probably gonna go lay down after this, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one, whenever that will be. I don't have any outstanding orders or anything right now so um yeah but anyway thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys